In recent high-profile adjustments to fuel subsidy policies, the Malaysian government has reiterated its stance and announced that it will not implement targeted subsidy measures for RON95 gasoline at this time. This decision was officially communicated by Malaysian Prime Minister and Finance Minister Anwar Ibrahim during a parliamentary session. He emphasized that there are currently no policy documents in place to expedite such measures. Anwar Ibrahim underscored during the parliamentary meeting on July 2, at present, we do not possess any policy documents to support the immediate cut of targeted subsidies for RON95 gasoline. This decision reflects our careful assessment of the current economic conditions and the needs of the people. He further elaborated that while the government had conducted thorough research on phasing out blanket subsidies for RON95 gasoline, it opted instead to prioritize adjustments in subsidy policies for electricity, poultry, and diesel after comprehensive deliberation. Anwar Ibrahim stated that, subsidies for electricity, chicken, and diesel are significant measures implemented last year and this year. We need to assess their impact and gauge public response before considering adjustments to the RON95 gasoline subsidy policy. He highlighted the government's commitment to monitoring market dynamics and public feedback to ensure decisions benefit people's livelihoods to the fullest extent possible. It's notable that the Malaysian government discontinued fully subsidizing the retail price of diesel on June 10, leading to a substantial increase in the retail price by approximately 56% from RM2.15 to RM3.35 per liter. To mitigate the impact on citizens, the government has extended subsidies to eligible diesel vehicle owners through alternative channels. According to Second Finance Minister Amir Hamza, as of July 1, over 115,000 diesel car owners nationwide have been approved for personal assistance under these measures. Despite the Malaysian government's efforts to address rising fuel prices, Concerns about the country's fiscal position persist among both domestic and foreign financial institutions. Citigroup highlighted in a recent report that Malaysia's fiscal expenditure for the first five months of the year has already reached 53.9% of the total annual expenditure, exceeding levels seen in previous years. This underscores the urgency for adjusting fuel subsidy policies. Nevertheless, the Malaysian government maintains its current stance, asserting that it's not prudent to hastily revise the subsidy policy for RON95 gasoline without thoroughly evaluating the impacts of existing policies. Maybank economist Suhaimi previously forecasted the potential cancellation of blanket subsidies for RON95 gasoline in the latter half of the year. However, he also recommended that the government take proactive steps to prevent unnecessary market fluctuations by acting swiftly. CIMB Finance and Market Research added in its report that there is a possibility the government will unveil detailed plans to adjust RON95 gasoline subsidies during the announcement of next year's budget toward the end of this year. This forecast underscores the broad concern in the market regarding the Malaysian government's future policy direction. Tune in every Monday to Friday at 8 p.m. for Qingxiao View, The Business Bridge.